All right, so I want to talk about how you can build circular charts using nothing but HTML and CSS without actually using the HTML5 canvas and drawing. So I have here a circular chart and it's showing the percentage. I've got a script that's just adding one to this number and when it gets up to 100% it jumps back down to zero. And it looks like it's filling in this circle. Down here I've exploded what this is into the four different parts. Um, there is a background, which is a blue circle, and this is just a border with the width being set to 100 pixels, so it's 200 pixels across, 200 pixels tall. The border radius is set to 50%, that makes it a circle. Then above that, I have three other layers, which are also just borders made in circles. The difference with these ones is that I'm using the clip path, the CSS clip path, and I'm doing something like this. With a polygon, I'm defining a rectangle. And this is the shape that I'm showing. So I'm showing half. It's a full circle, and then I'm just clipping it. So I'm showing half of the circle for each one of these layers. And then individually, I'm rotating them. And I'm also changing the z-index to change which ones are on top. So I'm coming up to 0% here, so we can see that these will change in just a moment. There we go. So. When we were at the 0 to 50%, over on the left-hand side here, I have the gray one, the faded out one, and then the blue one. The blue one is underneath the gray one. The gray one is on top, so it's masking this. And then this one is over here rotating around, and it's going underneath the other gray one. When I get over 50%, I'm rotating this one and it's going around and it's going between the gray and the blue. So the blue is on top, this is on the bottom, this one's in the middle, and it's rotating around. And only half of it's seen because of the clip path. So I'm rotating around and this one's sliding underneath this blue one. Over 50% I want to see all blue on this side. Under 50% I'm seeing nothing. The blue is put back over onto the left side. The gray is covering the blue. And then this one is rotating around, revealing this bottom blue, and it's sliding underneath this other gray one. Now, it can go on top or below. It's not going to matter too much, but for the, uh, the other side, I want to have this at the bottom, so I just leave it there. So I'm rotating around underneath the other two, and then we get to this switch again. We have the blue on this side on the right, the blue on this side being revealed here, that's actually this bottom layer, because the other two pieces are over here, and this one is rotating around, revealing this bottom blue one. All right, so let's take a look at the CSS, and let's take a look at the HTML and the JavaScript. So the chart, that is the circle that's on the bottom, position relative inside of a section, so it's going to stay fixed. I do that so that I can do position absolute for the other parts. The border, 100 pixels. Solid blue, border radius 50%, just like I was saying. So that makes the circle. Then the three other layers that are inside there, if I look at the HTML, there's the chart, and then inside of the chart I have these other four layers. The bottom one, info, this just shows the number, and it's going to sit on top of the other ones. These three are all basically the same. The only difference is the color that I'm using, really. So there's the chart, here's the under 50%, I just use these names, the names aren't important, so under 50%, over 50%, these are my two grey ones, and I'm using uh, RGBA so that I'm revealing part of the colour below. So this is a, a light, light grey with 80% opacity, so the, uh, or 80% alpha rather. This will reveal some of the colour underneath, which is my blue, and that's why it's kind of a light grey but with a blue tint to it. Width and height, 160. I'm making these, um, the inner content is going to be 160, so it's going to reveal 20 pixels on the top, left, bottom, and right. And then I do the 100 pixels to position it over top of the chart. So same thing here for the other one. Same width and height, same color, border radius, same positioning. Um, the difference is when I'm starting off, I'm just rotating one 180 degrees. That's 
um, counterclockwise 180 degrees. This one's sitting where it normally would. And then here's the fill, which is the blue one. But same sort of dimensions. The difference between these is just the z-index. And I'm going to be manipulating that in the script, 10, 30, 20. So just change which one's on top, which one's in the middle, which one's on the bottom. The clip path, we need to do the WebKit in front of this because not all the browsers currently support the clip path property. Um, Firefox and Chrome both, this works without the WebKit one. Uh, Safari requires the WebKit one and none of them work with um, IE or Edge yet. So we can't use clip path inside of IE or Edge yet. This will work on all the other browsers as long as you've got both clip path and WebKit clip path, but won't work in IE yet. Uh, the transform rotate is what we're going to be controlling in the script. So let's take a look at that. Down inside here, and this script you don't have to rapidly type as I'm doing this. I will uh, leave it as a comment in the uh, in the uh, notes below. Uh, I'll put the link to the code gist that will have all this code that you can experiment with, change the colors, change the sizes, and so on. All right. When the page loads, I'm calling my do rotation functions. That's going to set the initial value. I'm going to get this number here out of it, out of the div info. This will be converted to a number and then I will turn that into a percentage of how much I want to rotate those different pieces. So this will, this will be treated like it's a percentage. I'm then using set interval to call do rotations again and again. I'm doing it every half second. I'm adding one to the number. And that's all that I'm doing inside here. I'm going into the info div, getting its text content, adding one to it, checking if it's greater than 100. If it is, set it back to zero. If not, leave it at whatever number it is. Overwrite the text content inside the info with the new number, and then call do rotations. And this is where all the work is done inside of do rotations. The code down here at the bottom, this is just the extra stuff that I'm doing to copy the properties from the circular one. This one down here, these are the alternate ones, so I've just exploded the view so you can see what's going on. All right, inside of here, we're checking to see if the percentage is greater than 50 or less than 50. And the reason I had to break it up there is because I'm going to be changing the z-index of the various pieces. So I'm finding, targeting those three pieces that are going to be rotating. I'm taking the number from the HTML converting it into an integer, then I'm taking that number and subtracting 50 from it, multiplying that times 360 divided by 100. So basically I'm, I'm turning this number, which will be a number between 0 and 100, and I'm turning that into a percentage of 360 degrees. The reason I do that is that the rotate property. So transform in your CSS can do translate, skew, a bunch of things, and rotate is one of them. It takes a value here in degrees. So 0 to 360 degrees. I want to know how much I want to rotate that thing. I'm never going more than 180 degrees because I'm doing my calculations on 0 to 50 and then 50 to 100. But if we take that number, let's say it was 25, 25 minus 50 gives me negative 25 as a percentage. So that's negative 90. Negative 90, if info is greater than 50, it's not. It's less than 50 because we're doing 25. I'm going to come down here. And then the 25 will be that negative 90. Negative 90 is what I'm going to rotate the cover under. So I've got those three parts, cover over, fill over, cover under. The covers are the gray ones, the fill is the blue one. If we do the blue one, zero degrees, and one of the, sorry, the, yeah, the blue one, and then one of the gray ones, zero degrees, so they're going to sit in their original position. That means they're going to be on the left-hand side, both of them. So under 50, both of these guys are going to be on the left-hand side. So here we are, we're under 50 degrees. Both of these guys are on the left-hand side. 
and the gray is going to be sitting on top of the blue. Well, here's the gray, here's the blue. Gray's got a higher Z index, so gray is sitting on top of blue. They're both zero degrees, which means the original position, which is on the left-hand side. Then we're rotating the other one, the cover, the cover under, which is the other gray piece, and it's going to rotate to reveal some of the blue that's on the bottom using this percentage that we calculated. Once we're over 50, then we want to change the order. We want to bring both the blue and one of the grays over to the right-hand side, so we're going to rotate them 180 degrees. That'll put them both on the right-hand side, and we want to have the blue one on top. That's the fill. So right here, fill. It's got a higher z-index. It's going to represent the first 50%, so the first 50% is going to show us blue all the time. And these first four lines, they're really only doing something when we get to that 50%. It does this, and then it doesn't have to move them anymore. So it will always be setting them to the same thing. The only thing that's going to be different is that extra gray piece, which is going to rotate to reveal the percentage between 50 and 100%. This will reveal that as a percentage. So we're going to slowly rotate the other gray piece. And that's it. That's all we're doing. So there we are. It's rotating this middle one over 50, 50 to 100, and then it switches so that we have the gray on top of the blue, and this gray is rotating below them to reveal the background. We're going to get up to 50, and then it's going to switch again. Just have to wait a few seconds for it to get there. These guys are going to switch over to the right-hand side, we're going to have the blue on top to show the 50% at all times. There we are, blue on top of this gray, showing the 50%. And then this one's rotating, and it's sliding around underneath this blue one right here. So it's all just an illusion as to what it's doing. But here it is working in Safari. Here it is working in Firefox. Here it is working in Brave, which also uses the WebKit engine. And back to Chrome. All right, so... Have some fun with that. Thanks for watching.